my my everything my everything oh my god because Sonny has a way of just getting <laughs> it like so much like it's so much okay we need a moment guys all right guys all right guys i miss my everything but i still got you yes um, yes i do i do i do you don't, don't you miss your everything Who's my everything? I don't know. You know now. Nah. <laughs> yeah, the one that has the begging right on this table. Don't even let us go there. <laughs> At least you, you know where you're heading. With the rest of us, we don't even know which direction. Stop. Is it left or right? Please. That's what you said today. Tomorrow, now tell us that oh, you have the best thing after fried rice. Do it for you. No, I have the best thing after fried rice. In fact, I have after fried rice. I have the best thing before fried rice. Okay, so what's the issue now? Why are you crying? Because I miss my everything. Right, wait, where did she go? I know we here today. Did she, leave, did she move out of Nigeria? I, it don't matter, but is it your miss? Yeah, it's dramatic. I, I don't just <laughs> my everything. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Yes, you know I would do it on the show. You never know what to expect. You never thought you'd see me cry, right? Yes, but I cried for my everything. But yes, we've got a killer, killer trills in the building yes it was born kingsley og he's an indigenous rapper artist singer songwriter choreographer performer performance coach he started doing music professionally in 2013 debuting um, with echoes of victory in 2014 in 2019 it released the street fusion anthem connect produced by lawrence lawrence says which interna um, which international rapper and mobile award nominee Fay child says is one of his favorite jam connect which has a chance like chorus and afro street groove to go along in a call to young people in heavy hill to come closer reconnect to god as he is the ultimate we're going spiritual ladies and gentlemen hallelujah somebody hallelujah amen, amen. <laughs> and we got yeah. keller trails hey. in the building hey. Hey. how are you doing today man i'm doing great I'm for doing a gospel today. artist you look too fly you hey. come see uh, <laughs> I, gospel artist, please, I, I don't hey. understand as in, what is this? Are you not supposed to be wearing suits and time and be telling her the mouth is dry? There's no money in the land. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> That's the look we expect from them. No, no. It's different now. It's a lot different now. Yeah. All right. So tell us how, how that makes it work for you to spread the gospel. Uh, so it's a. Uh, how, how do I put this now? Uh, a lot of things contributed to, you know, the. The brand you see now, mm. you understand. A lot of things contributed to the kind of music we make. A lot of things contributed to the outlook of you know Christians these days. So for me, where I grew up, um, Bariga, I mean that place really, <laughs> really affected a lot of things. You understand? I look so, close to you, but uh, <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, not that bad. <laughs> not that bad. I, mean, I know, I know. Yeah. So uh, that's that's like a major um, a major influence and then the kind of music i listened to while growing up and stuff like that so that kind of like um influenced uh the kind of music i make and the kind of brand i want to you know be for myself but what you what you take when people say oh you're not uh, spiritual huh? uh, he, he's just saying there's a lot of things we don't know what these things are that influencing okay. the okay. influence so the give us a, like, uh, so I've, I've, i feel like you're, you're going okay. to be but you're not deep <laughs> Uh, the the environment is one. Um, the kind of music we listen to is another. Mm -hmm. um, uh, what's it called now? What we what we call purpose is another thing. Mm -hmm. You understand? And you that's like the heaviest one. Uh, yeah, Christian. Christian yeah, basically. Yeah. And anyone who is in the music space trying to do you know, kind Christian. Of Christian. Yeah. So um, purpose is like the heaviest. You know, that's what kind of like coins what you look like because of where you're sent to and you know kind of assignment you you know stuff like that for me i feel like i'm called to the streets right so i do i do gospel music yeah but then the sound is the sound is streets the lyrics most times is streets and because of people are um i'm trying to reach you know with, with so how's that help you reach that's what i'm trying to get now now because how it's helped the way oh, okay. you look the yeah. way you speak the way you do your music has that helped you win enough soul for christ Okay, so I mean, first these guys accept you even before you say anything because you look mm. like them. So there is, oh, okay. So there is no, um, there is no, uh, what's it called now? You know how you back then, if anybody walks up to me with the suit and tie thing, I, I mean, I will give mm. you space. Yeah, first <laughs> you understand. But these days, um, you could no, walk up say to you anybody. Give them kush. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but these days you could walk up to anybody and then you know. You know, start up a conversation yeah. and before you know you're talking about, you know, what's important to you mm. and stuff like that. So it's, it has um, really helped me a lot, plus the music as well. 
uh, guys vibe with the kind of beat, the kind of sound mm. you know mm. I come with. So it's easy. So, so first they, you know, they vibe with all of that before then they get to know what mm. you're about. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Mm. Yeah, so but you mentioned that at first in the beginning that, you know, a lot has changed, yeah. um, even with the brand. But I think also a lot has changed in the music industry mm. in general okay. over the past few years. But I want to, I don't know much about the gospel scene. Okay. So from, I don't know, I, I'm throwing the question to you. Mm. Do you think anything has changed in that space as well in terms of structure, in terms mm. of exposure, in terms okay. of lucrate, look, um, the, just the lucrative mm. sense, the lucrative part of it? Like, do you okay. think there has been any progress or are you guys still in the same spot? Uh, well, I would say there is progress, right? Um, and. Uh, which should I even talk about first? Okay, so now we have people who are willing to, you know, step out of making music that is just for the four corners of the, you the know, four walls of the church. You understand? You, people like me, people like uh, Limo Blaze, people like Obaringi, guys who are doing music mm -hmm. that they're Christian music here, yeah, but then it's not just for the church. Regular. You understand? Uh, the church might not even vibe with that kind mm. of church in the sense of you know their structure yeah. might not vibe with that. But then we put a lot into such music, you understand, because of people were trying to reach and stuff like that. I like the fact so, that, okay, okay, go on. Yeah, and um, yeah, in terms of uh, reach and if it's lucrative, yes, yes. Um, at least now a lot of young um, artists are beginning to take advantage of streaming platforms mm -hmm. and stuff like that. So, and then from time to time we have gigs, we go for, and then we organize concerts. our gigs, yeah. ourselves, concerts and stuff. Okay, so, I like the fact yeah. that you brought that up. Has there been any point in time where you got turned down, you know, by church? You're doing gospel music. You're saying, oh, I would like to perform for you guys. And they tell you, oh, mm. you wear your ring. Oh, look at your hair. Oh, look at you. You're okay. going to mislead our kids. Have you had mm. that type of situation? Uh, to be honest, yes, I have had that. Uh, and how did you handle time. it? Uh, I just walk over it. <laughs> Keep it no, moving. because uh, from the most important thing for me, like I always say, is purpose. And if they don't see it, I, I can't make them see it. Mm. Okay? Um, there's power in focus. If you keep focusing on people who are not, you know, uh, who are not for you or people mm. who don't embrace what you do, then you'll be wasting a lot of time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd rather focus on those who will call me, those who know that, okay, this guy is for real. This mm. guy is legit, you know, so. Okay, so when you started, because you started music ages ago, 2013 yeah. is a long time. Yeah. Um, so when you started music, were you doing Christian music from the start? Uh, yes, started doing Christian music. Okay, so before I started music officially, I was doing secular, but then right. it was nothing serious. Okay, okay. All right, but when I, when I started officially, it was like Christian, you know, Christian music, because then a lot has already happened. Mm. So, so, I mean, that's a long time. Um, did you find God early as well? Uh, or did, did you find music, you? yeah, did you find music and your religion at around the same time? Or no, did it something was, it was make you draw closer to God? It was, it was the music. It was the music, and then um, I had... I would say an encounter, right? In I was at camp meeting. Well? Yeah, I think Tell that was 2012, that. 2012 okay. 2013. Mm, okay. Yeah, so I was at a camp meeting and then I saw, uh, I would say, um, I was in a situation where I had to do something about my life, right? Mm. So I saw young people who were, you know, like very much into the Christian faith and mm, all of mm. that. This camp, this camp uh, meeting is usually held in, in like um, a bush setting. <laughs> inside Ogun State wow. there. Okay. So, yeah, so we're there for like a whole week. So during that one week, yeah, I went with the choir, yeah, because I love to sing and all of that. But then a lot, other things came to play. I started seeing um, the lives of other people challenging mine, mm. you get. So I saw young people who will say, oh, you know, I was praying and, you know, you know, I, I heard this, I heard that. And then, and then they would say these things and they'd be like, Someone who confirmed that, oh man, this is this is for real. Mm. You know, I also I heard I had similar thing. Mm. You know, stuff like that. I just the the what would I call it now? Like the I, I love the thingy that mm. was you know going on, and you see teenagers lead uh, Bible studies and stuff like. That. Like I want what these guys have. Mm. You know, so um, at that point I just started like taking my faith seriously. Um, I gave my life for like the hundred and fifty. <laughs> you know, like, but that was it. That was the mm. moment I, um, you know, I would always remember. That moment changed a lot of things for me. I, I always thought being a Christian meant that, you know, first I have to hit 40 or maybe above and then, you know, change my mind and say, you know, well, fine, I'm going to mm, for Christ mm, now. Mm, but, mm. 
you know, I saw young people do it, and I'm like, see, I'm just, yeah. I'm just, why not start now? Yeah. You know, so. But yeah, you know, religion is very tricky, right? Yeah. Um, in in the in the sense that it can also be political in exactly. in, in a sense. Yeah, um, so I know that you are in a very unique space, okay. but I want I want your take because I I know that it would be unfair to box anyone just because you say that you're a Christian. Yeah. But what would your take be on in terms of like featuring with people who are not just functioning the not functioning in the Christian space, so like maybe a feature with David Doe, a feature with Wizkid or Tiwa Savage. Is that something that you would do? Does that align with your purpose? Because we've been using that word a lot. Uh, I've always said this on every interview. I don't have a problem mm. featuring a secular artist on my... The secular would mean anything you want it to mean mm. to you. But Absolutely. then and again, um, where purpose comes to play is what are we going to be singing about? Mm. All right? Um, and what's the aim of the music. So if the aim of the music is to promote something that is against yeah. my value, then I, I right. can't do that. Right. All right? But if, if you're talking, uh, if it's about love, if it's mm. about unity, because mm. I know the probably might not want to go all out to, Praise you know, Lord. yeah, <laughs> you get so. But if it's something yeah. that concerns human, mm. yeah, because, I mean, we're humans. So yeah, basically conscious music. You can see yeah, I can, um, operate in that yeah, space. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. All mm. right, so let's talk about your video, which is why we're hey. here today. Mm. Tell us about that, because it's been, you know, from Connect to 2021, <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah. yes, and then we have a new song coming out from you. Yeah, tell yeah. us about that one, and the video is dropping, okay. right? Yeah, the video is out already. It's out, yeah, yeah, great, yes, great. Yeah. Are we going to be the first to play, though? You've played it elsewhere. First, actually, yeah. Right. Yes, first I told you guys, you're always the first to do yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. No one does it better. So tell us about that. Yeah. Okay. So uh, 2020 was crazy for a lot of people, especially. I, I, I'll, I'll speak for myself. Mm. Yeah. yeah. I'll speak for myself. That uh, 2020 taught me a lot. 2020 was one year. I I don't think I I don't think I've been that low in my life. You know, a lot of things happened. I questioned a lot of things, but you know, in the end. It just goes to remind me that, you know, uh, whatever you, how do I even put this now? Like, as a human being, you're made up of whatever you believe, mm. you understand? And what you believe is what works for you. Yeah. And because I, you know, I believe in God, I believe in Jesus, I believe in his power, I believe mm. in a lot of things about him. So I, you know, that 2020 helped me to be able to center everything around yeah. that. Mm -hmm. All right. So the song Believe is actually a song I wrote to encourage myself. Mm. Um, first, I, I wrote the song to encourage myself, but then I decided to put it out. Because I do that a lot. I write songs based on what I'm going what through. I have a lot of songs, a bunch of songs I've recorded about whatever it is I'm going through. I haven't mm. even release them yet okay but believe is just the most recent one so i decided to put it out i know a lot of people struggled with different things yeah absolutely. even up till now some people are still trying to find the balance up, and yeah. all of that so i'm just out here saying man no matter how slow no matter how whatever it is mm. just keep believing believe in god believe that you will pull through believing Right. Okay, and on that note, I hope we have yeah. been able to convince you and not <laughs> convince you. Yes, but enjoy this video from Keller hey, Trios. Let's Believe. Go.